Hello, this is John Bain. Today I want to show you a special utility, an online utility that I use very frequently every time I use a browser to log on to the internet, whether it's Firefox or Chrome or Internet Explorer. Uh, I've set a protopage as my home page. Protopage is a uh, a free utility that you can use. You see that I've set mine up and named it the John D. Bain Proto page. Proto just means first. And so this is the first page that comes up. I set it as my default home page for all of my browsers. And in any of your browsers, you're going to have a way of keeping up with bookmarks that they offer. Firefox, you just do a drop down here and you see all the. Uh, but they come down as a drop down list. Doesn't seem to be as efficient to me. So if you go uh, to Google or Bing or Yahoo, whichever is your favorite search engine, just type in protopage, P-R-O-T-O-P-A-G-E, just one word, and uh, it'll, you'll find a link that will bring you here. Uh, and It says, Welcome to Protopage. If you have not already done so, click here to create your own protopage and start experimenting. So you can do that. and. Uh, it has several tabs and you can just have tabs running all the way across the screen if you want to. I have bookmarks. I don't have it go to the home page. I have uh, some a Dilbert comic strip widget placed there. It's got a little tab up in the upper right. It's called add widgets and you can put cartoons there. Here's a tab that shows the, the most uh, current Fox headline news. Uh, Lifehacker is uh, a website that deals with uh, things that computer geeks might be interested in. But uh, for bookmarks, these are all the different things that um, that I go to frequently. My Facebook page, File Hippo, Goodreads, um, Movie Places, Book Places. Uh, these are places that, uh, that I visit often. And so I've got them right here. You do have a ribbon right along the clock close to the top here that has some very popularly visited places and that's it takes you right to them when I click on something for instance if I clicked on uh, I, I have Google up here in my uh, Firefox bookmarks toolbar but uh, I've also got it here and if I click on that it it creates another tab and goes to that so I can have the proto page open and uh, and Google as well but let's add something here. Let's see uh, if I was going to web, uh, add my own website. Uh, I'm going to go here to this tab where uh, the, the Google tab and just type in HTTP colon forward slash twice www.johndbain.com and it'll take me to that page. Now if you're on that page you see there's the address in the address bar at the top. If you click on the address bar, it'll highlight it. And then you can do uh, edit, copy, and then come back to proto page. And over here on the right hand side of the ribbon, it says edit. And then I can grab the scroll bar and pull it down. These, this is the list here. It's just the uh, kind of like the text list. And I would put John D. Bain website. And then. Uh, click on the space out beside that to the right and go up to edit and do paste and it paste there and you have some arrows here beside the link that I just created and so you can pull that up and down and put it anywhere you want to and uh, if you wanted to put it in alphabetical order that seems to be most the most logical but uh, you will then want to click save I'm just gonna leave it down there at the bottom for right now and so there it is at the bottom. I already have it. Uh, I've already done that particular site and it's right there in alphabetical order. And then if you ever decide you want to delete a website or a, a bookmark, you just go to that place wherever it's at and there's an X at the right hand end. Click on that. makes it go away. And then save. Uh, I've got a Bible link here. And there was a, some Bible online Bible study tools. There are links. For instance, there's an uh, interlinear Greek New Testament. 
that has the every book of the New Testament and then if you click on chapter 1 of Matthew it'll show you uh, the Greek text and also uh, the English words or the translation words beneath them so that's pretty cool I've got uh, a notes tab here but I'm not going to show you it because it's a list of passwords and hints password hints and reminders and account numbers and things like that <coughs> when you set up your proto page you'll be given the opportunity to set up a password for it so nobody can access your proto page except you unless they have your password if you don't give it to them they won't have it so it's very secure and I, I can't always keep um, a list of passwords around with me wherever I go but this page is actually not on my computer it's not stored on my computer it's stored on the proto page mainframe and that means it's out there on the web it's on the internet so if I'm in an airport if I'm borrowing a friend's computer if I'm at the public library using their com computer all I have to do is log in to this page and I will have all of my links I take them with me anywhere I go actually they're not taking them with me they're they're waiting for me wherever I go so I really like this recommend it to you and uh, if you'd like to set your own up if you have any trouble let me know be glad to help you but uh, this is a really handy thing and uh, I work with a lot of clients and sometimes they say you know uh, what about my bookmarks now also if you ever change computers if your old computer crashes or you upgrade uh, I was working with a client only last week and they had a brand new computer it had Windows 8.1 on it and they were trying to figure out how do I how do I get my bookmarks back well uh, and there are several ways to transfer or save bookmarks but it's usually a little bit more complicated than most novices want to deal with but if you have a program like this that you use online whatever you set up as a bookmark um, you could change computers two or three times or a hundred times and whenever you log on to the internet this is going to be there waiting for you so that's a good idea give it a whirl I believe you'll like it as much as I do